Thomas the Babysitter. It was a busy morning at Knapford Station. Thomas, Annie and Clarabelle had one last journey to make before they could take a break. Oh my, what a racket, Clarabelle. I know, Annie, but at least they aren't trying to get on board. <laughs> I didn't know something so small could make so much noise. <laughs> But the mother and baby did want to travel on Thomas's branch line. No, oh, I don't think babies like trains. I'm not looking forward to this journey at all. But as soon as Thomas got on his way, the baby stopped crying. Oh, the poor thing. It was probably just tired. I think it likes me, Clarabelle. <laughs> I'm good with children, too. <laughs> Don't forget who's pulling you. Maybe it's me the baby likes. <laughs> Whatever had stopped the baby crying didn't last long. Why are you crying, Thomas? Have you lost another race? <laughs> it's not me crying, Bertie. I've got a baby on board. Hello, Thomas. What's that awful noise? It's a baby, silly. Has anyone tried singing a lullaby? That's a splendid idea, Henrietta. <coughs> Rock a baby on the tree top. When the wind blows, the cradle will The cradle will fall on the rhythm, baby cradle and all. Oh, I always did have a lovely singing voice. I can sing too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> My baby on the tree top. Annie, Clarabelle, it isn't your singing that's calming the baby, it's me. Every time Thomas had to stop at a station or a signal, the same thing happened. Oh, why is everyone getting off except the lady with the baby? She has to get off here. It's the very last station. Excuse me. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thomas went to turn round on the loop, ready for his return to Knapford. Phew! <laughs> the journey back should be a lot more peaceful without that. Oh, no! <laughs> I suppose it is very tired, like you said before, Annie. Ugh, how on earth can it possibly still be tired? <laughs> the baby fell asleep again as soon as Thomas left Farquhar. <gasps> I know what to do. Every time I stop, the baby starts crying. So, I won't stop at all. That's a terrible idea, Thomas. What about the other passengers? And you'll get into trouble with Sir Topham Hatt. <sighs> I suppose you're right. Oh, silly you. Clever us. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so Thomas stopped at every station. And the baby started crying every time he stopped. <laughs> By the time Thomas got back to Knapford, everyone was exhausted. <coughs> oh, thank goodness it's over. Off to the sidings for a rest. <sighs> a whole glorious hour before our next journey. Oh, hello there. <laughs> gucci, gucci, goo. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, oh. But Thomas was watching the mother, trying to calm her baby. Sir, sir, permission to miss my break, please, sir. Oh, whatever for? I want to make a special journey without stopping, so the baby and its mother can both get some rest. But <gasps> Thomas, no! What if it doesn't work? It did before. Well, I think it's very kind of you, Thomas. Well done. You go ahead. Someone was waiting for them. Oh, Thomas, thank you for babysitting all morning. That's my wife and son you've been looking after. <laughs> is it? I didn't know that. <laughs> I think this is the longest either of them have slept for days. Ooh, oh. We haven't even picked a name for him yet. We've all been so tired. I'm not surprised. I never knew babies were so demanding. Excellent work today, Thomas. <laughs> and you, Albert, I think you deserve a week's holiday <gasps> so you can help out with your little boy. Oh, thank you, Sir Topham. Perhaps we should name him in honour of today. Do you agree, darling? Oh, yes. We must call him Thomas. <laughs> thank you again for all your help. My pleasure. I'm so sorry for making you miss your break, Annie and Clarabelle, but I think it was worth it, don't you? Annie? Clarabelle? I think you'll find they're fast asleep, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas! 